Hello everyone, it is me, Rillin, uh, back to bring you another episode of, uh, Minecraft, whatever version number, Race for the End. It's, uh, 1.47 right now, I believe. Uh, as you saw from the intro, little intro video, I've been experimenting with different video modes and recording stuff, which is partially why it's taking me so long to get this episode out, but mostly... It's just uh, be have been, it's it's just been me dicking around with other video games and um, trying to get wither skeleton skulls. I only have one of the damn things so far, and I have a looting two sword. So uh, I might release a video of me doing that live at some point, or the rest of this video after the build you're about to see will um, be me talking through different things and going uh, through the nether trying to get wither skulls like like a wither skull montage if you will in any case as you can see we're back out here at um, let me turn off there we go now my th hand won't mess up the thing we're back here out at my nether or enderman farm and I'm currently in creative mode uh, because I'm setting up the camera movements uh, I will show you the first one really quickly to get you an idea of how this ends up, how this is going to end up working. So, let's do this. And, so, camera movement one is going to pan up like that. And it's going to stop about here. And as you can see, I was in frame. Like, my character was in frame while the camera was moving. And it uses the software called Camera Studio. It's a mod, and it allows you to, when this setting, it, when the indirect video recording is on, it lets you um, record from a third, it, re it records it from a third person view while you're still able to move around and view the screen just fine. So I will be doing that in just a, a minute or so. Uh, and it's going to be a montage of me doing that. I figured out, uh, as I was, uh, um, when I was testing this uh, on my other world, I found out that given that signs technically count as a block for water to go over, so if I put a, 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 a if I put water here, it won't go over both sides; it'll go down there. But the problem is that Endermen also see this as a solid block, so when they're on fire down here, they end up teleporting out. So I have to break all the signs after I. Uh, after I place the water down. So I decided to just use a uh, dirt or a nether rack from now on. It's going to be like this. And that way I can um, break it much easier without me having to be like on the precarious edge breaking a sign, worrying about me dying like that. Plus, it's uh, cheaper than using a bunch of wood. So I brought a bunch of nether rack. I brought everything, hopefully, I need for this. So uh, without much further ado, uh, watch as this belated project is being built.
Okay, everyone, we are back from my montage of building. As you can see, it is completely finished. And I uh, built this out a little bit more, if you look that way. It's longer than it was before, because uh, they were teleporting to that little area. And I've already bothered to enchant a few books, so that's what we got so far. We got Protection 3, Smite 3, Projectile Protection 4, and... BAM! Silk Touch 1 and Power 4. I got Silk Touch 1 on my fourth book. I'm probably just one of the most luckiest, lucky, one of the more lucky people on, uh, in Minecraft at the moment. So, if we take a look at where the E is on the upper left corner of the screen, you'll note that there are 82 entities of 83. So there are 82 Endermen over there. So, let's go and push this button so that you can get a good idea of how this works. I think I showed this off before. I have to edit this a bit because, if you look up there, you'll note that they're teleporting to these little platform areas. Oh, and I need to do something really quickly. Okay, sound off because when I look at them like this, they go absolutely apeshit. And make no, and uh, they haven't fixed this in 1.7, so the the sound that they make is infinitely loud, regardless of what your sounds is set. So let's kill all these guys. And I have a sword here in case stuff like that happens. But generally, they die in one hit. Generally, I need to fix a case. I need to fix this a little bit. Still. Okay. So as I'm killing them, uh, this is the mostly final design. I will, in fact, let me show you the more final design really quickly as I'm uh, at level 20. So let's me do this really quickly. Save and quit. Okay. This Oh, sorry. This is the final design for this. And this will be repeated right here. And I need to set up some wiring stuff. I have to fix some of the wiring issues with this as well. But let's go down here and I'll, I'll give you an idea of what is different between the two. The main difference is this switch right here. Now, when this is down, it means that... Uh, they will spawn, I believe. They will not spawn, right? So down is not spawn, up is spawn. And so what this does is I set it up so that there is a red uh, redstone torch just pillar going up, which when this is up, opens the... Uh, ensures that these are open. What, what I'm trying to say, closed. Backwards? It ensures that they're able to spawn, and the reason for this setup is that if these are not out, when you push the button, they tend to teleport away. Good lord. You'll note that they are not able to get away from this, and they're just stuck here. And it ensures that they pretty much all die in one hit. I mean, there's an occasional problem. I don't know if one of my repeaters might have gotten bugged at some point when I was building this I don't know if I ensured that the timing was correct I think it's correct yeah I don't know if this one is supposed to be four or not I'd have to look at some of the other designs I don't think it's supposed to be four though but if that's the problem, it's easily fixed. But uh, that is the main difference between these two right now, is this redstone torch up to ensure that spawning can go on or off. And I would need to set it up in such a way that uh, I pull the lever down, hit the button, and... Uh, the lever would have to control spawning on both sides, and, like, if I mirrored this here, I'd have to, if I mirrored this 
on this side, I'd have to ensure that the lava and everything goes at the same time so that uh so that they don't have anywhere to teleport. So it closes this and uh puts lava on both sides. As when I'm here killing, 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 killing them. When they're all dead, I go this way and I would hit this lever down, I guess. I would hit the lever down, push the button, then come back and hit the lever up to ensure that they continuously spawn on this side while I'm over here killing the other ones. Or I need to set up a system of timing so that when this is, uh, when I push the button, it ensures that the those are closed long enough for, uh, them to not spawn up there or get away and then close back. So, wow, I've never seen screen tearing in this before. So let's go back to the uh, Race for the End World. Okay. Back to game. Uh, let me check the time really quick. Okay, it's fine. I think it was started. Um, I think I started. So, let's go over here and I will let them spawn so you can get a good idea of how quickly they spawn over there it takes about I wanna say a minute or so to get to 80 maybe a minute and a half and it requires two full spawns plus a little bit extra to get to level 30 so once this reaches 80 we'll go over there and uh fight them some more but first uh, talking about uh, current series and race for the end and how this is shaping up um, the next episode will probably be the last official race for the end episode uh, I'm going to be fighting the wither at uh, in the end or I'm gonna be fighting the wither in the end because I found that um, fighting him in the end is really easy because there's tons of Endermen for him to attack. And the the Wither's like explosive attack does very little damage to the to Endstone, so you don't have a giant hole dug underneath you. And something funny, uh, those of who those who might have seen my tweets, uh, the two of you who follow me currently, <laughs> um, as I was fighting the Wither, in the end. The weather had gotten down to almost no health, and he had pissed off an Enderman, and the Enderman killed the weather. So the weather had almost no life left, and he was being attacked by an Enderman, and the Enderman managed to kill him. And I, I, like, sat there laughing for a good two minutes, probably, because it was the funniest thing I've ever seen. Just like, oh, yeah, the weather, you know, he just killed him. I'm also planning on probably adding um, obsidian underneath, uh, like digging a layer, a couple layers, uh, like five or so underneath, just digging like a huge pad and putting obsidian there so that, because uh, I don't know how, how easy the wither can use the, to, uh, what, what are the, what's the present? We can easily blow up obsidian. I don't know exactly how quickly he can, yeah. See, you can see the difference between the two is that sometimes they just don't die in one hit. And sometimes they do. The hell? Oh. Ah, there we go. Okay. And I'm probably not going to get to level 30, because I never do. Yeah. See, you get to about level 28 or um, 29. Let's options turn sound up a bit. So let's go over here, and you'll note that just walking over here, it's already got up to uh, let's see, seven, eight. They generally actually spawn quicker than that. I don't know if there's an issue with the game or not, because they're not spawning as quickly as they should right now. There it goes. Oh, boy. This is why I don't like to have the sound on. 
So let's push the button. Oops, push the button. And get ourselves to level 30. So yes, uh, the next episode will be the Wither fight. Uh, I'm going to... Oops. Ah, oh, dang it. Can barely hear myself talk. I have to fix that post. Mojang, fix this. Yeah, that is probably the most annoying thing about the Withers at the moment, is that you pretty much have to fight them with sound off, because regardless of what sound setting is, it plays it at maximum volume. It's the most annoying thing in the world, so... Let's get ourselves a book. And enchant it to level 30. What do we get? Looting 2. That's... Ooh, looting 2 is great. I'm actually going to... Uh... Let's see. No. Okay, let's see. How... Oops. Make sure to keep those out of my hand. So let's see. No. Oh! Oh, you know what? I need my anvil. Well, I'm going to put this looting 2 book here. And I will... Mm, let's see. You know what? Oh, you know... Uh, uh, I think I have enough iron. Let's do it. I was originally planning on just bringing my... Uh, Anvil from my regular home with me, but this will just give me two anvils. I suppose I could keep the other anvil in a chest and uh, see where do I want to put this? There's fine. Okay, how many? Let me get a book and turn the sound back on. Okay, looting two. Sword, let's see how much it costs to get this. So, fire spec one, sharpness three, knockback two. Sharpness three, knockback two, fire spec one, looting. So it costs 13 levels. So, let's quickly get ourselves 13 levels and uh, turn this sound off. Because I know for a fact I will just be pissed off if I don't. Yep, and it killed most of the Endermen that I hadn't killed before. Okay, so let's get to level 13. And this was... As you can see, if you have other stuff to do while... Uh, I should have put this. If you have other stuff to do um, while you're waiting for them to spawn, it doesn't take that long. But yeah, I do need to fix this because this is a bit of an issue. I mean, it it's an iron sword, so... At worst, it costs an iron sword, but I'd rather not have to do it that way. Dang, Enderman. So it's almost there. Come on. Dang, butthead. Ah. Oh, I'm level 13, okay. <laughs> Okay. Oops. Looting three. Awesome. Okay, as I, as I was saying, the next episode is going to be probably the last in the race for the end, but not the last for this world. Uh, and I have a few other things to talk about, but uh, that will be when I go show off. Now that I have a looting three sword, we're going to go fight. We're going to look for some wither skulls. Uh, so I will be right back in a second. Okay, guys, we're back. I know this episode has been a little bit disjointed, but uh, as I was saying before, this is going to be the last. the The next. Oh crap! The next episode is going to be the last race for the end episode I do. Uh, probably. Uh, any other episodes that take place in this world will probably have to deal with this. As you can see, there's a blaze spawner there, and if we go this way, there's a blaze spawner right there. I've never seen 
such an advantageous blaze spawner orientation before. Uh, so, future plans, I guess we should talk about while we try to find the withers and fight the wither skulls and skeletons. Um, I'm going to still do my tutorial series. I mean, I got a little discouraged a while back and wasn't certain if I was still going to do that or not. I'm just going to run away from them. I don't want to accidentally aggro those guys. Uh, but I'm probably still going to do my tutorial stuff. Um, it's going to be more mechanic focused, probably. Some of the how to begin different things. Um, I'm going to continue my construction of adventure, clearly. And this world, in particular is going to get added to the roster of construction and adventure. I I swear one of these days I'm going to start and building my uh, the rest of Falling Water. I, I will get around to doing that. It's, it's, I've just been doing so much other stuff. Um, there's going to be more server videos and in fact the server uh, according to AJ the server might get put up as a uh, his his clan is apparently buying a server, so the server might uh, get put up online permanently that way, which would be great. Because right now, sometimes uh, right now he's not connected to me, so I can't join the server, and I don't know if he's been busy doing other stuff at the moment, so I haven't been able to record anything. Which is probably advantageous for him because I just thought of a new, I have a new prank. Um, but when I do finally get on the server, I am going to be building uh, the Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker base. I love the design of it. Uh, it was Honeycomb. It was uh, Ethos Honeycomb Labs that really made me think of that at the first place. Oh yeah. I wonder if I hit him. Okay, that's safe. I wonder if I hit him over an area where his I can collect his drops. That would be awesome. Because I need regeneration potions. And you can't make them with anything but Wither's Tears, as far as I know. Uh, that's where the tear ended up. Do I have any? No, I don't. But if I go that way, I think I can get there. So, I'm going to be doing more server videos at some point. Um, ooh. Be careful, Erlen. You do not want to fall to your death while you're recording. You have a really good sword. And mind you, making another one would just be annoying. Well, it would be more than annoying at this point, actually. So, is it, ooh, ooh, I'm going to go down there and get him first. Yeah, I only have... Oh, you almost got me, asshat. Come on. Ah, uh, That's the first time I've ever gotten a sword from him. Yeah, I'm probably going to end up fighting the Wither in the default texture pack because if you look right now, you can't see my... I can't see my health at all. Whereas in the default texture pack, you sort of can see the health. So it makes the fight a little difficult. More difficult than it needs to be. Oop. Oh yeah. Crack shot. Darn. Not what I wanted. Oh well, I'll get it eventually. I will get that regeneration potion eventually. I only need like one or two of the dang things. I mean, as worst comes to worst, I suppose I could. Oh, of course. No, nope, get thank you. If worst comes to worst, I suppose I can. Uh... Freaking tongue tied today. If worst comes to worst. I suppose I only need one of the things. I don't know what I was... I don't know where I was trying to go with that. Crap, crap, crap. I'm on fire. Where is he? Jerk. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, as you can see, fighting in, well, anyone who's fought in the 
Nether knows what a pain in the butt it can be at times. Nope. Come on. Just one more. Dang it. Come on, you cheaty, cheaty jackass. There we go. Just stick your head at once. There we go. No more of this crap to deal with. Oh, oh. Is there a spawner over there? Okay, let's see if... No, just another... Ah, uh, so unlucky. But yeah, anyway, those are the plans for the future. I know I'm rambling at this point. I uh, hope I'm going... To, I might live stream me trying to get the rest of these dang things. Just because of what a pain in the butt it's been so far. Oh, I didn't kill them for far enough away. I was hoping to get at least one, because I got... What? That was some serious lag. Come on, come on, just I just need one. Fuck. Oh boy. Well guys, I think that is a perfect cutting off point. Uh I will see you guys later. I'm just gonna go get my crap. And uh I will see you guys in the future. So this is Rillin signing off. Uh and have a wonderful day. Okay guys, I lied. Uh I just came back to get my stuff and uh look at this. I got a weather skeleton skull. So this is really Rillin signing off for the last time. Uh as I was saying before I died and you know, got cut off. I I might stream uh, me getting the last skull, although now that I only need one, I might not as well. So, uh, look forward to more streams, PSP grab brag, all that other stuff. So this is Rillin really signing off. Uh, I hope to see you guys uh, in the next episode of Race for the End.